I love it. Welcome back. We can sometimes feel a little overwhelmed with our social media feeds, full of the next trend, right? But we also got to you know, get a little bit of our fall looks going at the same time. There's so many options right now, and right now we have Latavia Dawson of Fabulous Faces with us here to help us pinpoint those looks for this season. And uh, you brought a couple of models who are gorgeous, by the way. You're looking fabulous. Fabulous faces. Well done. Thank you. All right, so tell us a little bit about the looks that we can uh, get into this, this season. Right, so first and foremost, um, for summer, the rage was the color eyeliner. Right. Well, that is transitioning into fall. Okay. And we're even keeping the same bold, bright colors. So neon. So Ebony here, she has on a green eyeliner. Um, popping color, everything else, her skin is fresh and flowy. Everything else is very neutral. And then she also has on a brown lipstick, so. Okay, so you said that the, the, the look of the popping eyeliner is still a trend going into the fall, but it's just a matter of shifting the colors to be more fall-like? Actually, no. We're oh, okay. actually staying with neons, bright colors, greens, blues, oranges. Um, so no, it's everything is just transitioning right from summer to fall. That's awesome. So you don't even have to be worried about like, oh, I got to change up the color or anything. You can just keep that look all the way through the season. Absolutely. All right. And so this is pretty easy to achieve. Did you do anything else aside from, is it just the, the eyeline color pop? That's it, just the eyeline color pop. She does have a very neutral like browns eyeshadows, mm -hmm. but you really do not have to even do any eyeshadows. You can just allow the eyeliner to shine through. To do all the work. Yep. Okay, so what kind of eyeliner is that? Is that liquid? Um, it's actually a cream base and it's activated with water. Okay. But um, there are some brands out there that liquid, pencil as well um, with those same colors. Do you get a different um, pop, whether it's like liquid or like a pencil? Not really, mostly it's the longevity. So the liquid is going to last longer than a pencil. The pencil may smear off sooner. Yeah, and then with this humidity, you don't want to play with that. No. Okay, all right, well this is a beautiful look and we're gonna move on right over here. Uh, what, what look, what do we have going on with this look? Well, Nia is showcasing the brown lip. So of course, fall, we do want to go more into the richer colors. Typically, we want to do more like burgundies and plums yeah. and berries, but actually browns are really taking over yeah. in different shades. So it doesn't have to be a really, really deep brown. Um, it can be a more neutral um, color as far as the brown, but browns are really taking over. Um, as well as with the smoky eye as well, of course that is something that's always on trend no matter what it is. But for fall, we're going more into the grays, the browns, yeah. the lilacs and things of that nature. So not your deep, dark black smoky eye. Okay, so I can tell you with brown lips, I think a, little people, a lot of people might get a little weary about it because they might think, well, what if it looks too dark? How can you tell what brown to go with given your shade or your complexion? Well, you definitely want to keep in mind your undertone. So if you have more of a red undertone, you will want to do more of a reddish brown. Okay. So you want to think about your undertones as well. And then also if you want to put like a, I love to do the ombre effect. Yeah. So where it's your liner is a little darker, but then your lipstick in the center is a little lighter. So that way it gives your lips some dimension as well. Okay. So um, e either one of those, you can't go wrong. And so you said that the smoky eye this season is not about going dark black, but more of like that brown autumn feel. Yes. Um, with with that look, is there anything specific as far as like the, the styling and where it goes or the placement of it? Um, it's still based upon your preference. Everyone is going to be different because we all have, di have different eye shapes. Yeah. So, of course, if you have more of a hooded eye, then you're going to want your um, eyeshadow to go more upwards, your full lid and go upwards towards your eyebrow. Got it. But if you don't, if you have a little bit more space, then you can get away with, you know, doing a smoky eye more in your crease as opposed to the entire lid. Okay, good to know. All right, so we're going to keep these looks in mind. And you guys can get another look at this segment on our website, firstcoastliving.net.